Hi and welcome to Exact Time, Time America's 100% web-based solution. Well, since it's a web-based software, what that really means to you is whatever web browser you use to surf the internet, such as Microsoft Internet Explorer, uh, all you have to do is simply enter in a URL. That URL, as you probably know, can be saved as a favorite. You can make it your home page or even put a shortcut on your desktop. Once you do so, that will bring you to this login screen here. From this login screen, you'll simply just have to put in an ID and a password because your company ID will be pre-filled for you. Once you do log in, the employee will see their name located right up top here and the action section is where all the action takes place. So we log in as we just did and simply hit punch. That's all you have to do. The system's smart. So I've already clocked in this morning as you can see here in my status. You can also see at any point in time when you are clocking in and clocking out you can leave a note. So once you do leave your note here and you hit punch that note then gets attached to your time card which is right down here. The next section you see here is the message section. This is a nice little way for your supervisors or administrators to send a message to your employees. This allows them to inform them about a meeting maybe you have later to f that Friday uh, or simple enough as saying, hey, it's uh, Joe's birthday and tell everybody uh, to say happy birthday to Joe. The section you see underneath here is the hours work and the hours work is your time card. So you'll see a time in with your time out for your total hours for that day. File that down to the bottom here and we have our total hours for that week or that pay period. We have a couple different approval processes. You can do an employee approval, which you can turn on or off, and we also have a supervisor approval if you do decide to use a supervisor approval. As you can see, you can always go back to previous week or previous pay period at any point in time if you need to. I'm just going to scroll down the screen here. If I scroll down, the next section you see here is our scheduled section. Uh, if you do use schedules and they change from week to week, you can show the employee their schedule here. They can also click on next week and next pay period to see what their schedule looks like into the future. The next section you see here is the pay adjustments field. Not a lot of people use it, but it is a nice way to actually have employees enter in a date with a dollar amount and a note here if you wish. Uh, they may do a reimbursement, uh, an expense account, any payable type that you wish. The next section you see here is the benefits, such as your PTO, sick, vacation, pay time off, personal days. Whatever type you use, we can track those for you. The initial is basically your current balances, which we can have carried over. The granted, depending on how often you grant it to them, maybe annually, per pay period, daily even. Uh, you can see what they've used, and most importantly, what their balance is. Once they do see what their balance is, they can then come here to the time off request section and go ahead and use some of that time. If they put in a date range for a couple days, they can go ahead and do so. Uh, what start time they may have, uh, hours per day. They can simply leave you a note and tell you where they're going to vacation. They hit apply, and that whole request gets sent over to the administrator for them to then approve it. You can see the green checkbox for approval. Pending means obviously they haven't seen it yet or decided to let you go. Deny means you're obviously not going. And let's say you wanted five days of vacation, but your supervisor can only cover four days of your shift. He can give you a partial. And let's just say something happened and you couldn't take your vacation anymore. You can delete your request. This concludes our exact time employee overview.